Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to make a traffic light KPI. Uh, this is something that SSRS users have been asking for for a long time, and I'm going to show you a really a workaround and how to do it. There isn't an official uh, visualization that can do this, but I will show you how to make your own using donut charts. So the first thing we're going to want to do is enter a little bit of data into our data model. Uh, let's just name this name and we'll put dollars. Uh, the first name we'll go ahead and put uh, Robert here. Well, let's say Robert has a hundred dollars, and maybe Parker has twenty dollars. Uh, Jim is going to have forty dollars, and Anne will have uh, eighty. Dave will give him seventy-five, and finally Jeremiah will give him one hundred and fifty. Let's name our table, we'll just call it data, be very creative. Click load and load that into the data model. And now that that's in, we're going to need to create a couple of calculated columns. Let's say we want to make our KPI red, yellow, or green, depending on if they have more dollars than average. So let's go ahead and make a quick calculated column to get the average number of dollars per user. Um, that'll just be av equals average data dollars. Pretty simple click enter let's look at this see the average of all the dollars is 77.5 so let's go ahead and try to make our KPI if maybe if the user has over $80 um, we'll give him green let's say if he has in the 70 to $80 range we'll give him yellow and less than 70 will make him red uh, that's kind of the layout that we'll make um, so let's create another calculate column and basically this is going to be a big if statement so we'll call this KPI set it equal to an if statement we'll say if dollars is greater than uh, we'll say av uh, plus 2.5 to give it that 80 if it's greater than uh, data av plus 2.5 we'll give it a 1 else we'll have to give it another if statement to count for the bottom half uh, if dollars is greater than uh, we'll say dollar or av minus 7.5 to get us to 70 then we will give that a zero else we'll give it a negative one and we can close off the two ifs so basically we have three cases one zero or negative one and let's take a look at what we got here. So Robert has $100, which is more than 80, so he gets a one. Parker has 20, which is less than 70, he gets a negative one, and you kind of see the, the pattern here. Uh, even Jeremiah has 150, it's more than 80, he gets a one. So pretty simple, but very powerful when you uh, pair it with the KPI. So we'll, let's go ahead and put a donut chart in. Oh, first we're gonna have to make sure that the KPI that we just uh, built is type text. That will help with the formatting. So now go ahead and put a donut chart onto your, um, onto your canvas and bring in KPI in the legend and then we'll throw in KPI again in the values and it'll default to count and that's what we want. So it doesn't really make too much sense right now but let's go ahead and color the data labels like we want. So data colors, uh, one is going to be green, zero is going to be yellow, and negative one is red, so that's good. So basically, this is going to color how we want just based on the filters that we add to it. So if we throw a name into a slicer and select Anne, you can see that she defaults to yellow, same with Dave. And you see everyone gets their color based on the value that we gave. Uh, let's sh show a table just to make this make a little more sense. So we can see that Anne has a zero, Dave has a zero, Jeremiah has a one. So all of those correspond to their colors. It's really cool. It's pretty simple, but very, very effective. Um, so Anne is a yellow, Dave's yellow, right. Uh, so how we're going to set this up as a KPI, we will actually add cards to show names and we'll throw that inside the donut chart. Size that a little bit, get rid of the category label, move it in the middle. Right, and now we can just put in a filter for name onto this donut chart and specify that we want Anne to show here. And that defaults to her yellow color because Anne is a zero which goes to yellow. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and copy that. 
and we'll create a new one. Uh, let's go ahead and throw name in there. Well, actually, let's go ahead and get the card. Uh, we'll change this user, so not and, but let's get a different name here. Um, throw name into the filter. Uh, we'll take Jeremiah, make it a little bit bigger because his name is much bigger, and go to the donut chart and change the name to uh, to Jeremiah so we can show his color. And we see that he's green. And that's kind of starting to look how we want. So we see yellow and we see green. Let's go ahead and take the data labels off to kind of get rid of the clutter and the title as well. There goes the data label and the title. Move it around a little bit. And there we go. We have a yellow and we have a green user. Um, we can make one more just to kind of nail the point in. Uh, we'll make this one a red user just to show that kind of traffic light look. Let's resize this to make it a little smaller. Running out of room. Uh, let's change this name to uh, Parker because we know he's red. Uh, but now we have Parker and Jeremiah selected. We just want Parker. So we'll just select Parker. And that's red. We'll throw in his name in the card. Make sure that's Parker. And there we go. We have what looks like a traffic light. It's pretty simple. It's a lot of steps, but uh, very useful and kind of gets the job done if you format this correctly. If you make this look better, uh, I'm sure you'd love to use this. Uh, just so you know, you can conditionally format cells in a table, but in case you don't have tabular data, like this is not tabular, uh, then you may want to do something like this. So really, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next Power BI 3-Minute Tip.